Hey there dragons, I'm Shay. And I'm Carly. Today is October 1st. And this is Dragon TV. In this week's episode, we visit the band at the marching contest, Brothers on the Field. We check out the film study club and see our trap shooting team at work. Last Friday, our Dragons played hooks at the Dragon Stadium. Although we didn't win, there were some amazing plays made. The Redwater Trap Shooting Team went to a tournament last week. Two of our teams placed top 15 out of 41. With Team 1 placing 10th and Team 2 placing 13th. We'd also like to give a quick shout out to Parker Rushing for placing 6 individually out of 136 shooters. A hosted event. A lot of the tournaments we compete in are what you, I guess you could say local or regional tournaments. The FFAs around the area host tournaments that schools compete in. So we'll take teams of three to four to the trap shooting ranges and we will shoot against other local schools. Uh, my hope is to hit a high 80 and my team is to get top five in a tournament. Redwater Band also competed Saturday at the Pleasant Grove Marching Invitational. They received the best in class for color guard, percussion, visual performance, musical performance, general effect, and best in class for band. Our band plays third. Congratulations, band. We know you've worked really hard this year. The schools are split up into six uh, categories, 1A through 6A. And every other year, uh, the bands 1A, our schools 1A, 3A, and 5A participate in the next year 2A, 4A, and 6A. And I believe this is to, so that there's not a, a whole bunch of schools and people participating in one day. And they split up the competition between, like, evenly halfway between schools. Um, at state, or on the trip to state, we take some really nice charter buses and we all travel together and we make sure all of our uniforms and equipment are together. And then we uh, travel to San Antonio for three days. The first day, we, uh, on the way there, we warm up at other schools, and then we, we do the state competition at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. The next day, we uh, hang out in San Antonio, maybe do like a tour of the Alamo, or go to Ripley's, Mira Mays, stuff like that, and the third day, we'll go home. I think if we continue our hard work that we've been doing all year since summer, then yes. Uh, we have a lot of ground to cover, but we're doing amazing, and I'm really proud of the band so far this year. So to make it to state, you have to get a one rating, so basically a perfect show at UIL, and then you get to move on to area, you compete, and then a certain number of bands make it to finals that area, and then the bands, a top group of bands from there, get to advance to state. So at state, all the bands that make it get to perform, and then later in the day, you get to find out if you will be competing in finals, and then at the, after finals, then they will place the top three bands. Um, I mean, I really hope we make it, and I think that we can just with a lot of hard work and effort like we d did a few years ago. Dragon Football plays at Paris Chisholm this Friday, and our band is competing at the Four States Band Competition at Texas Festival. This week, Shay and I talked to the Minna Brothers to see how it's going on the football field together. I feel very confident since my own brother is going to be blocking for me. I'm sure the Minner brothers enjoy spending so much time together. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, we've always played the same sports, and now it's just it's cool to be actually be on the same team for once, instead of me going and watching him or him coming to watch me. So, it's pretty cool. Here are Easton and Jackson's thoughts on this year's football season so far. Well, I mean, we started off pretty good, but now we're headed into this year. It's a whole new season, so it's time to be better than we were in the preseason. I think we are preparing ourselves to end up with a good season. Wow, look at that brotherly love. Don't forget, you can still order this year's yearbook at yearbookforever.com. And as always, thanks for watching. It's a great day to be a dragon. <laughs>